Beretta 9mm USA here with our latest pistol purchase. This is the Walther PPQ M2s. Young Beretta has been doing some research on this pistol and showed them to me at Key Sporting Goods here in Gresham, Oregon. Biggest uh, weapons dealer here, distributor, gun store in the Oregon area. I've removed the back uh, strap here to be able to show you the differences on it. All the markings are in German on this pistol on one side, um, or it has a lot of German markings along with some things in English, but um, here's a look at the other side of the pistol. Walther PPQ with a very H&K P30-like texturing and grip on it. So those of you that like the P30 uh, may like this pistol for about $350 less, right? $300, $350 less. Yeah. The Walther um, gives you a very similar grip, also made in Germany. So, so both pistols come from Germany and uh, it's got magazine releases on both sides. So if you want to release it from this side, typical righty, or this side over here, your typical lefty. That's kind of cool. Glock-like trigger on it. Um, I think it's actually a little bit better than the Glocks. I'm very picky about my triggers on, on uh, pistols. I think that leads to the accuracy, how accurate I can shoot with a pistol. This is very good. So if you're picky about how your triggers feel, this is the big thing they tout with this particular pistol, and I gotta tell you, it's it's a great uh, a great trigger on it. So the PBQ M2 is a 10 as far as the trigger is concerned. Nine millimeters hold 15 rounds, and you do get two magazines with each pistol that you that you pick up. There are three interchangeable back straps. The small, the medium and then the large. The large has a little neck to it that goes up behind the pistol. It catches in the front and the bottom piece here goes in this opening. It's got a piece to the frame actually that leads to um, it sticking in place. I'll turn the pistol sideways. That's where the transponder is supposed to be, you guys. They're tracking us right now. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, that's where the transponder is supposed to be when they ship it over across seas. As you can see, it says it right here. Let me see it. It says uh, transponder right there. Kind of funny. So anyway, so they've got a little piece on them here that catches into the neck of the pistol up above and then you just pop the lower piece in like so. And so the large one would look like this. It goes all the way up to the neck there and it connects down here and then you put the pin through the open hole. So when you want to change them out, take the pin out, pop it back out. What do you think, young Breda? When you look at it, uh, I think it's a wonderful pistol. The trigger is absolutely amazing. I'm best striker fired trigger that I've ever felt or used. <laughs> it comes with two 15 round magazines. That's a plus too. You know, like the Ruger SR9s. You know, some other pistols in this price range, you guys like. This Sig Sauer SP uh, 2022 only comes with one 15 round magazine and we were actually looking at that gun you guys. We still may pick one up but you know for one 15 round magazine that's a huge downside you know because magazines these days you know are 40 to 50 dollars for a steel magazine. What do you think? Yeah it's true and I'm sure at some point in time if we really dig the pistols like we think we will We'll have to pick up an additional, I don't know, five Two or magazines or something. I would say five or six magazines, but I like to have plenty of mags, so. But a new purchase and uh, shoots nine millimeter and we are looking forward to shooting them. Um, can you see the lines on here up on top to fight glare up on the top of the pistol? Put your hand beneath it so you can try to get it to focus. Kind of yeah, there you go. yeah, it's kind of fine and hard to see. Anyway, but it has lines that run from the top side all the way to the back side. And yeah, Young Beretta was handing me his barrel because we wanted to point out it looks like there's some pretty good polishing done on the feed ramp. Yeah, look at that, you guys. It's completely polished. It's really cool from the so, factory. Yeah, so that's an, another plus. I mean, it just it seems like thing after thing, you know, value after value, 
that shows with this pistol for $549. That's what they are here. I, I looked at them a lot on the internet and, and saw them priced anywhere between $500 and $600. So I think if you're somewhere around $550, $560, I, I think it represents a, a pretty good value. What do you think of the ergonomics the gun feels in hand? Well, I think that's the biggest thing is Especially with and you owned a P99, right? Yeah, a, Walter P99. a long time ago. Double action only. Yeah, and I didn't mind the, the grip, but I hated the trigger on it. So I'm hoping this will be a totally different story. But, you know, that's the grip size on it. So I think it's pretty pretty small and easy to reach it, any of the controls, anything like that. And that's that's what I look at. It, rem it, it feels very much in my hand, very similar to a Glock 19. Yeah. Very similar to a Glock 19. A lot more ergonomic, though, I think, than the Glock 19, if you ask me. Yeah. So, it's got front cocking serrations along with the word Walther written in there, up here I'm talking about. If you can see that. Walther, and it says PPQ here, and it's got back cocking serrations, too. So, you know, you can, you can grab it to either side. I, I, I always like to keep my hand away Always from the biz business end so much, but if you're cocking it from up front, bringing it back this way, I guess you could do and that. some people like to do that. Yeah, so. Also, you guys, it has a chamber indicator. Actually, let me see. It's uh, red, it's right here. See, there you go. When there's a round in the chamber, that'll protrude the red area right there. What else about the pistol? The, ca the pistol comes in a pretty decent case for a guy that likes to complain about pistol cases. Uh, this Walther case is pretty well made and uh, from the outside very well made from the inside Not bad. Good job on the foam here where the pistol is, it lays in everything's uh, outlined for the for what you're putting in there The top piece up here is kind of cheap foam, but uh, I'd say it'd be a good place to keep keep, keep the pistol Anyway looking forward to shooting it guys just wanted to give, give you a quick look and see what you thought see if anybody else out there has one or uh, you don't want to say anything about it uh, on our channel. Thanks one for One last this. thing, hold on, um, before we end this. One thing that is really cool about this pistol, you guys, is that replacing the sights with night sights is extremely easy. You can do it yourself. We'll do a video when we pick up night sights for them if we do fall in love with these pistols. But it's very easy. You can even look it up on the internet. It's very easy to do. Okay, thanks to all the subscribers out there. And remember... Your second amendment is worth protecting. See you guys.